Hello, hello. This video is for women leaders who work within male dominated industries and you're joining us for the leadership tip of the day. Now, in this phase of what we're going through in the world, 2020 has been all sorts of twists and turns. And there are people who are having to have very difficult conversations as some companies begin to experience a reduction in workforce or extended furloughs. So I wanted to give you a few tips on how to have these tough and difficult conversations. My name is Jacqueline Twilley. I'm president at ZeroGap.co and I am passionate about all things women leadership and helping them to negotiate. And at the core, you know, negotiation is problem solving. And when you're having a difficult conversation, part of that is problem solving. So the first thing that I'd like to bring your attention to for our leadership tip today is that when you have to have a difficult conversation, make sure that you have all of the facts available to you handy and that you review those thoroughly. Yeah, I know it's basic, but guess what? When you're stressed, it's easy to skip some of those basic steps that you would do in a normal environment where your stress isn't heightened. No one likes to run into conversations where they know the other person may feel hurt by that information. So go through the basics and get your facts. The next thing that I encourage you to do is to be empathetic in your delivery. And this is gonna be different for each person. You know your personality style as well as the person you're communicating with. So if you're delivering news that is difficult to multiple people, you may not deliver it in the same manner for each individual. So go ahead and think through how you're going to deliver that message in advance to the different parties. And also, as part of being empathetic, give people an opportunity to process and come to you later if they have questions. I know a lot of times in difficult conversations, people at the end will say, do you have any questions? And the other person is kind of in shock. They haven't fully processed it. So give them the opportunity to come back to you a little bit later if they do have questions. And then at that point, find the appropriate resources to point them to at that time. All right, this has been our leadership tip of the day. If you know a woman who works within a male-dominated industry, share this video with her. My name is Jacqueline Twilley. Until next time, continue to emulate excellence and eliminate excuses.